If you guys were ever curious about how I choose these critique videos, it's generally the most popular one. So if you do have anything you'd like me to review, whether it's vegan or just some crazy diet, please send me an email, DM me. I always get some very interesting feedback from you guys, so I do appreciate it. Uh, Muscle and Strength is a bodybuilding channel on YouTube, and they usually get a lot of views like this one. Uh, we've actually critiqued this guy before, uh, Sadiq Kidzovich. And I mean, you know, the guy has a pretty punchable face. And hey, I wouldn't want to hit the guy because he might have a heart attack chasing me down the street after all the trend baloney his uh, girlfriend shoots up his tushy. But uh, we won't get too into that. I'm going to try to be very polite today. So uh, let's see how this guy is destroying his liver and encouraging hundreds of thousands of other people to destroy their liver. Muscle and strength. What's up? It's your boy Sadiq. We have another full day of eating in store for you. Let's go see what we got cooking up. This is meal number one. I have two thirds cup of oatmeal blended with a scoop and a half of whey protein. Sometimes I throw some fruits in here. This morning, we're all out of fruits, so this is all we get. So I'm sure a lot of you guys noticed. This guy has a very nice house, very expensive cars, kitchen is beautiful, a lot of money. I believe he's in New York, so that's probably at least, I would guess, a 1.2 to $2 million house. But, you know, he's, he's drinking regular conventional oats in in protein powder so you know does this guy actually follow this diet is he lying to us is he really having you know organic pasture raised eggs from a local farm for breakfast on the side is this just a marketing gimmick we don't really know but it, it makes you wonder what's really going on because those oats are so high in agrochemicals the protein powder is so full of chemicals it's not even worth analyzing the nutrient profile and of course, the, the drugs that these competitors take do offset a lot of those negatives until they're 60 and they, they drop dead of liver failure. But uh, th this guy competes in men's physique, so he doesn't have to use as many drugs. And if you've seen muscle and strength videos before, you know that there's a crap load of vitamins. So I'm probably taking about a couple dozen pills every morning. Everything from omega-3 fish oils to CLA to probiotics. Um, daily green supplements, blood pressure monitoring supplements, COQ10, multivitamin, vitamin B complex, um, vitamin D3, vitamin C, I could keep going. I mean, if I was taking three dozen pills in the morning, I'd be worried about the gelatin coating and the capsules and all that stuff, let alone what's actually in the pill. So, you know, we know all of these are laboratory extracts, refined chemicals, basically, and a lot of them aren't necessary. Yeah, you know, if you do have a nutrient deficiency, there's not really another option besides taking a synthetic vitamin, but that's going to benefit your body. Whereas this guy is probably taking, you know, 80 to 90% of things he doesn't really need. How much of that's oxidized? How much of that's destroying his liver? How much of it is actually helping? And that's why when I consult people, I always start people off with no supplements. And then you can kind of introduce one or two things here. And the only scenarios where people are actually taking this many vitamins or if they're a normal, healthy person and just think they're boosting their performance until they really have a problem and have to start figuring things out. I can keep going. This is uh, my intro workout. We got about 25 grams of fast acting carbohydrates. And we're gonna put a scoop of branched chain amino acids in one. I'll slowly sip on this drink. That's why it's called an intro workout drink. Slowly sip on it during your weight training. Um, when so that's just more chemicals, really. You know, you're better off having whole food. We do have a uh, Flextrose, which is like a natural organic uh, glucose supplement that I do have on my website. But the stuff that's commercial that most people are selling, it, it's really not necessary. It's really not necessary. All right, so he goes to the gym, he does a little arm workout, and then he's back at his uh, $2 million house. All right, so post-workout shake looks a lot like meal number one, but I don't have the oatmeal. I just have one and a half scoops of whey protein, 
30 minutes after this, I will have meal number two. You know, it makes you wonder if the, the real difference between bodybuilders now and the bodybuilders 50, 60 years ago was that they were just eating whole foods that basically didn't have too many chemicals in them. And that's why they look so much better and healthier and their body composition was completely different. This is meal number two. So meal number two, we have 7.5 ounces of egg whites plus one whole egg. And we're also doing sweet potato with this meal, five ounces. I think the guy's skin looks kind of messed up. I think that's because he's tanning. I'm not a fan of egg whites or sweet potatoes. I, there, there's just so many better choices. The conventional chickens, you know, full of corn and soy, full of allergens, very bad for your gut. Uh, you know, if this guy's able to eat this type of meal every day, he, he, you know, he, he doesn't have any sort of digestive issues, any sort of real health problems. And, uh, you know, the drugs must be contributing a lot to his ability to tolerate these foods. Sweet potato is just, it's not like a super clean source of carbs. There's a lot of flavonoids and it's complex. There's a lot of fiber in there. It's just not easy on the stomach. Plain white potato, plain white rice would be much, much better choice. This is meal number three. I have eight ounces of lean ground beef. I believe this is 94% uh, and 6% lean. So this was already pre-made. We have this and we're going to add six ounces of white rice, which is also already pre-made. I got it over here in the rice cooker. If you guys are eating rice as often as I am, definitely invest in one of these. It cooks your rice perfectly. They're relatively cheap. Um, you can find them on Amazon Prime. Really good piece of kitchen equipment. So this is a solid meal. You know, we've seen some strong men and some other Bodybuilders basically stick to diets of beef and rice for a lot of their meals, which I'm a fan of, you know, beef. I'm assuming it's grass fed, especially if it's 94 or whatever percent lean it is. Minimal amount of chemicals, minimal amount of antibiotics, estrogens, hormones. So, so the beef is a very clean protein source. White rice is also good too, especially if it's organic and you're using filtered water. You know, the only, the only issue might be is, you know, how, how much he's cooking the beef. Maybe it's a little overdone, but I don't really have too many objections to this meal. You know, if you throw in some beans or some cauliflower for fiber, it might improve the gut motility a little bit. And, uh, you know, we didn't touch on the probiotic pills he's taking earlier, but, you know, you need to have an actual high quality probiotic like kefir or yogurt, uh, a live natural food that's a probiotic with these meals to help digest the carbohydrates, not just some pill of powdered bacteria that doesn't really work. High B vitamins, a lot of energy, a lot of starch. This is from a company called Serenity Kids. Yeah. So he eats a company, it's like all whole food nutrition, very healthy stuff from high protein. It's called Serenity Kids. It's not a paid endorsement, but he loves the food. So if you have a son out there or, or a daughter and you want them to grow fast. No, I'm serious. I get like people messaging me all the time. What are you feeding your son? Because he's getting so big so fast. And uh, this is what he's eating. Yeah, I mean, we did a video on the formula last week. And, and any kid that's two years of age or less should be on mother's milk. And the mother should be following a very high-protein, healthy diet. And uh, we spoke about how certain things like sheet milk and egg yolks are very nutrient-dense. But I don't, what's that kid eating sweet potatoes is not good. Not good. This is his meal number four. My meal number four is not as delicious. So what I have for meal number four is... Chicken breasts, this is those grilled chicken breasts. This is from Eat Clean Bro, one of my sponsors. Extremely convenient. Um, I get everything as pl as plain and bland as possible. This way it doesn't throw me off my prep. But look at that, all I have to do is cut it up and weigh it out. So what I have is... So the conventional chicken is just as bad as the conventional eggs. It's full of chemicals, it's full of allergens. It's not too fatty, so the omega-3 ratio isn't really a concern, but all the toxins are still getting stored in the protein of the chicken. Yeah, you'll notice how you feel after eating that stuff. It's just, 
the super cooked protein with the combination of the low quality feed is, is one of the worst. You don't want that protein to become your own body's protein. It's very bad. Seven ounces of chicken breast with some green veggies. And I don't weigh my veggies, but I'm going to use about four and a half. The darker colored the vegetable is, usually the higher the anti-nutrient content. Anything green should be avoided for the most part or consumed in very, very small amounts. Half ounces. And my favorite part of the meal, which I almost forgot, is my almond butter. So as I mentioned before, when you get deep into prep, you start to eliminate the carbohydrates. You pull back on the carbs, but you're going to want to increase your fats. You need a good energy source. Um, so I usually have three tablespoons of this a day. This meal is only going to be one tablespoon. Almond butter isn't that bad. It's like a snack if you're having it with fruit, but, but to consume it as the majority of your fats, it, it's just, you know, a tiny omega-6. It's, it's not that great for you. You know, having fattier beef and just, you know, using that in the meal as a source of fat is a much, much better option. Maybe one tablespoon. Eight thirty at night. Um, we're almost done with our water, so we have a half a gallon left. But it's time for meal number five. is about four ounces of asparagus, and then we need seven ounces of fish. Right now, I'm using tilapia. Is that water how his urine's gonna look after his kidneys fail from this diet? <laughs> Throw us in the microwave. Get this meal down. I mean, not only is that meal completely disgusting, tilapia is one of the most, all, all fish in my opinion, for the most part, really shouldn't be consumed unless it's like a small amount of caviar for omega-3 that's from a, a not as bad source, but tilapia is just about as bad as it gets and he's having more of the broccoli. I don't, I don't know what's in this. I'm assuming it's some type of amino acid or electrolyte supplement. This guy is like, I'm genuinely surprised these people look this good eating this garbage, but I guess the drugs do have a, a dramatic effect on that. All right, guys, last and final meal. We are going with the Chef Physique Bar. This is my protein bar. It's my brand new flavor. It's absolutely delicious. It is chocolate chip cookie dough. And I made this bar so that not only my clients, but myself, we could actually eat them on prep. And you can even see the texture. The texture is that of real food. It's only real ingredients. Is this guy trolling? It, it looks like, you know, some type of gummy paste. 100% real whole food nutrition and 100% delicious. All right, I've had enough of watching this tool bag. And if I had to place a bet, you know, is this video entirely sponsored from the supplements, the whey protein, the meal prep company? Now he's got this bar. You know, does this guy just want his piece of the pie? Because, you know, you have to have some integrity to your products. That's why, you know, regardless of what I sell on any of my businesses, it's usually something unique that no one else has. You know, we have the best bars, the pemmican and the beef jerky on Frankie's Range Foods. You can't find products like that anywhere else. We have the water key for the probiotic supplement. But, you know, if this guy is just going to make generic versions of what's already on the market in the context of bodybuilding with his label on it, you know, Th things seem a little fishy. Uh, you know, you're definitely not going to look like that eating this BS. And it makes you wonder what these guys are actually doing behind the scenes when the camera's not on them and they need to make a bunch of money. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this critique. And uh, I mean, it doesn't seem like this guy really ate much at all. This is a uh, you know, very, very extreme diet. I don't know how long he's following this for. And uh, it it's not an example now, of course, the, these people watch my videos. They know about food quality. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of them are actually doing much higher quality stuff behind the scenes. But if you guys could please drop a like on a video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube cannot subscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can go to frank com to support me through all my businesses. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.